Hello and welcome to the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Thursday, August 13th. Here's what you'll see in this presentation. There is a red flag warning in effect for the Idaho Falls BLM District again today. And it continues for being uh, moderate wind with gusts in excess of 30 miles an hour and humidity less than 15%. There's also, uh, for boaters expecting to head out to American Falls Reservoir, a lake wind advisory for the mid-afternoon into the early evening hours, again, because of the wind uh, reaching 20 mile an hour sustained. There will be borderline red flag conditions in south central Idaho as well. The humidity is there. The winds likely will not be. However, there could be some local locations on ridges where the humidity and the winds uh, might verify a red flag condition. So be very careful in both the Eastern Magic Valley and in the highlands to the south of there, uh, south of the Burley Rupert area. It'll be dry and breezy again on Friday, but uh, the winds should not be as strong and we're not expecting a return of red flag conditions. And then there is an extended heat wave that starts over the weekend. And by Monday, temperatures will be near 100 degrees in the lower elevations of Eastern Idaho. So here's our current satellite image. This is the storm that gave us the shower activity and thunderstorms over the last couple of days. It has moved off, and we have nothing but clear skies here. And that will allow strong sunshine and warming temperatures. And the winds are so, or the temperatures are so warm, we are looking at uh, humidity being the issue, very low humidity, sometimes getting below 10%, so what we call single-digit relative humidity. That's extremely dry, even for our area. Uh, and so all it takes is a little bit of wind, and you get uh, quite a bit of fire danger. But right now, the only red flag we have in effect is for the snake plane uh, during the day today from the afternoon, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. or so. And so what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, these time steps looking at first temperatures. You can see here uh, starting out fairly, uh, probably the coolest day of the next seven with temperatures nearing 90 in Pocatello and mostly upper 80s. Here's Friday. Again, we're just starting to warm back up in some locations. You see Pocatello actually leveling off in terms of temperature. And here on Saturday, watch the temperatures spike upwards. And then Sunday, we're up in the middle and upper 90s in much of the eastern Magic Valley and the southern end of the Snake River Plain. And then here you go, Monday, uh, 101 in Pocatello uh, in the city, uh, 100 degrees in Burley, Minidoka, and even Blackfoot and Idaho Falls getting up to 98 degrees. Uh, minimum humidity, again, a widespread uh, 10 to 15 percent, especially in the lower elevations here. And you can see very dry on our border with Wyoming, or excuse me, uh, Utah. Uh, and it gets that way on Friday, very dry air moving in, uh, large area below 10 percent in the Arco Desert. And that expands on Saturday, sort of levels off here on Sunday and on Monday. Um, perhaps a little bit of moisture coming in with sort of a change in direction, but still very hot conditions. Here's what we're looking at for wind gusts. So this is during the late afternoon and evening hours, which shows why we have a red flag conditions out for the, um, basically for the entire Snake River Plain from Pocatello all the way up to the Dubois area and Ashton area. Uh, here on Friday, you can see the winds not as much. And then by Saturday afternoon and evening, uh, the gusts are pretty much 25 miles an hour below in the Snake River Plain, and that does not reach our red flag criteria. Uh, still a little bit gusty in the Central Idaho Mountains. So we'll have to watch the humidities there, but currently they do look like they will be uh, staying right around the 15% level out there, especially on the upper level elevation ridges. So once again, um, humidity and wind will be the and the heat will be the main factors over the next week. And if you have any further questions, you can always contact us at this telephone number or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for listening.